go again back to the television riser. Mark, uh, Warren Williamson, Oregon Duck Football News, here in the back. We're, we're going to take, I'm sorry, keep going. Uh, you talked about how proud you are of this team. You overcome so many things this season with injuries and other items. Can you maybe just give us an idea of how proud you are again of what this team has gone through this year and, and ending up here in the first ever playoff and just how proud you are of this season overall? Well, I think that's just it again. You know, people people talk, which I think is, is and, and I talked about this last week a little bit, it's, it's, it's unfortunate and, and a little bit, you know, insulting in a lot of ways that whoever loses this game, and their, the word failure comes up as, as, as a descriptive for the season. And there's, as I told these guys in the locker room, that, that, that will never exist in these guys' vocabulary, the way that they've persevered through, through what they've done. And, and the assistant coaches, everybody in our program, our, every player to a, to a T has, has just battled and, and, and gutted this thing out for each other and with each other. And, you know, wanting to put the right finishing touch on it and not, that not happening is, is, is gutting to me for, for them. And, and uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, this was an unbelievable journey. And to get to this point with this group of guys is something that, that none of us will ever forget. Mark Kerry, Eggers, Portland Tribune. Um, Elliott's game was amazing. Can you talk a little bit about, about the troubles you guys had stopping him? Yeah, I mean, he's, a, again, a tremendous player. I mean, you, you have him being as, as uh, fast and physical as he is, and then you trump that with a 200, whatever he's, 55, 60-pound quarterback as, uh, you know, those are three pretty good hammers when you, when you add in the, the fly sweep game and some of the other stuff that they're able to, able to do. But he uh, is he's an exceptional player, as is their offensive line. You know, the offensive line uh, did, a, did a really nice job. Uh, you know, again, our defense created some turnovers, and we need to, to, to complement one another a little bit better tonight. Uh, but again, a lot of credit to those guys. Go right back here in the middle. Coach Jay Allen from City Radio, right in front. Uh, two of 12 on third down, how much of that was execution uh, or lack of execution or did it have something to do with their defense or a little above? Well, everything and, and even more, more importantly, first and second down. You know, if, you, if you're in third and mediums and third and shorts, you've got a lot more options and a lot more things that they have to defend. Uh, and we were in a ton of third and six pluses, seven pluses uh, that, that allows them to really get after you up front and, and be a little bit more diverse in their, in their coverage. Uh, so it's always kind of a combination of all those things. We have time for just a couple more. Uh, we're going to take right down here to the left. Mark, what's Marcus's legacy at, at Oregon? And could you put it into context the kind of year he had? You know, the, again, on the outside, a couple of people mentioned this uh, leading up to this game. On the outside, you know, there's that thing that you have to win the national championship to, to solidify everything. And, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I think you know, Dan Rito is a pretty good player, and some of these other guys that have legacies and not have a national championship. Uh, two, you know, two or three bowl wins, depending on how you count it, and, and the, the the stuff on the field. I think you, you could certainly argue that this was the best, if not you know, one of, one of certainly one of the top two or three uh, greatest seasons in college football history. And then if you add in the person and the legacy that he had has from that standpoint. There, there, there has never been one greater. None. Coach, again, back on the television riser to your far left. Coach, Rob DeMello from KJOIN in Hawaii, back here. Along those same lines, if this happens to be Marcus Mariota's last game as a dog, what would you say he brought to the University of Oregon that has changed it forever? <laughs> um, you know, that's kind of, I, I love this guy and, and, and uh, will forever. And absolutely couldn't couldn't be luckier to, to coach him and be around him every day. And I think he's kind of one of those guys. It's it's around our neck of the woods. It's kind of like Madonna or Cher or whatever. It's Marcus, and that's that's kind of the, the his, his his name has, has reached. He's an adjective and, and, a, and definitely a very very um, just the, again the impact that he's had. Uh, on the field is, is extremely significant, off the field probably even bigger. Last question right here, front left. Coach Stan Brock with uh, Coin TV in Portland. Can you explain to all of us the challenges for you and your young players for this new playoff format? 
Thanks, you, John. Um, you know, if anything, it's just the newness of it, and certainly you get to to the point where you're playing for the Pac-12 championship, and then you know it's it's one avenue, and then you're you're committed 100% to winning that game, and then congratulations and high fives, and you get to flip around and, and get ready for another outstanding team. So, especially given the fact that that uh, we had the, the the loss midway through the season, it was you know, do or die, so to speak, from then on out for, for our football team. And to, again, to see these guys do what they did every single day uh, in the face of, of some extreme adversity, it was, it was just really impressive. And uh, something, something again, all the lessons that, that they used to get to this point will be with them forever.